Donald Trump's criminal trial. His former lawyer, Michael Cohen, faced cross-examination yesterday. Trump's defense team trying to undermine Cohen's credibility. Court is not in session today, but Cohen will be back in the line of fire tomorrow by Trump's attorneys. ABC News investigator Olivia Rubin has been following the case from inside the courtroom, and Olivia joins us live now from New York. Good to see you, Olivia. What are the big takeaways from Cohen's testimony? Well, on cross-examination, what Donald Trump's team tried to do really is call into question Michael Cohen's credibility. Because remember, as someone who was speaking directly to Donald Trump as part of this scheme, it really relies on Cohen's testimony to tie Donald Trump to the payment to Stormy Daniels and to the repayment to Michael Cohen, allegedly, that makes up these 34 false business counts. So what his team is trying to do is sow some doubt in the minds of the jurors that Michael Cohen could be potentially lying about the conversations he had with Donald Trump. They are trying to make him seem like his motiva motivation is revenge, is publicity, that he could come into court and lie. But I will say, Michael Cohen staying very calm under some fierce questioning from Todd Blanche, who brought into court Michael Cohen's own public statements about Donald Trump, calling him a dictator, calling him, uh, you know, all sorts of negative names, but Michael Cohen remaining calm, saying, that sounds like something I would say. But we will see, of course, as you said, Michael Cohen back in the line of fire tomorrow if he can keep that same calm composure, guys. Yeah, we'll see how that goes tomorrow when he is back. Now, how long are we expecting this trial to go? Well, we could be coming to an end here. Michael Cohen it seems to be one of the last prosecution witnesses. They said that they only had one more after him, but we will see if they still go forward with that. Michael Cohen, of course, will likely be on the stand all of tomorrow, potentially again on Monday because there is no court on Friday. And then the real question becomes, Will Donald Trump take the stand? Because remember, guys, once the prosecution rests, it's over to the defense to put on the case. And just as of yesterday, uh, Donald Trump's attorneys saying that there is still no indication whether or not Donald Trump will take the stand. But regardless, it does seem like we are getting to the end here and very possible that next week could be the last week. You stole my question, Olivia. That's what we were going to ask before the defense takes over, probably mm -hmm. soon. Will we see Donald Trump take the stand? You're saying no, it doesn't look that way. Well, it's, it seems like we don't know yet. His attorney said to the judge, based on the transcript from court, that they're still not sure if Donald Trump is going to take the stand. And remember, Trump has been asked about this repeatedly in public. He has said that he, he has insisted, actually, that he would take the stand multiple times. I even asked him once at a press conference, will you testify? He said I would have no problem doing it. But remember, there have been rulings about what Donald Trump can be questioned on if he takes the stand. And the judge did give prosecutors a bit of a win, saying that they could bring in some of his past legal issues that have occurred over the past few years. He kept some out, but said some could be brought in. So the question is, do, do they want the jury to hear about other issues? The fraud case, gag order violations. It's all something they're weighing as they decide, will Donald Trump take the stand or not? Now, from Stormy Daniels to Michael Cohen, we've seen some compelling moments already in this trial, but Donald Trump on the stand, that would be major. We'll keep watching it. Olivia, thank you. ABC News investigative reporter Olivia Rubin, thank you so much for your insight. Appreciate it. Thank you.